when putting a number in scientific notation, the thing to remember is that there's always one number to the left of the decimal. So if we look at this column, uh, every decimal is placed after the first number. Down here, there is no decimal, but the decimal is understood to be here. And all we're going to do is move the decimal, and the number of places that the decimal moves becomes the power. And as a reminder, a large number is always going to have a positive exponent or a positive power, and a small number will always have a negative exponent. So for example, to put 25,000 in scientific notation, we would take the decimal and move one, two, three, four places. So we have 2.5 times 10 to the fourth. Notice these zeros are not uh, written down, so we're going to discuss that more when we talk about significant figures. If we take this number, and move the decimal. We're going to move the decimal one, two, three places. And we're going to write all of these values here, 4.15 times 10 to the negative third. And again, that number is less than one, and all small numbers are going to have negative powers of 10. We don't really need to know this, but if we wrote this as 4.15 times 1 over 10 to the third, that's 4.15 times 1 over 1,000, or that turns into 4.15 divided by 1,000, which would get us right back to uh, this number. If we put this number in scientific notation, again we move the decimal three places, and we have a power of negative 3 here, these zeros are included in the value, whereas the number below, it's the same numerical value, but we don't see anything written here, and so uh, we would not write anything past this 4.